He's the evil genius who made morning so friggin' bright. Oh, probably the same evil genius who decided that there should be school days after crazy movie premieres. Crazy? Is that the verb you're gonna use to describe last night? Adjective. And considering I voluntarily slept on the downstairs couch, crazy seems about right. You didn't have to sleep on the couch. You would have been safe in the room with me. We're gonna be late, and I hate being late, so you should, uh, you should get ready. Now, if I could just find my best pass, that would be absolutely brilliant. Paige. You know, the best people should really just, just give a, a, an implant or a, or a tattoo, and I could save... Paige! Hey. I'm Alex, your friend. Can you just talk to me? I can't even begin to process what happened last night. Not with our little sister act slut dance or the drama with your mom's boyfriend. You call that drama? I call that reality TV. That's not funny. This is not funny. There is a girl in my bed, Alex. You. It's like I woke up in some weird movie with subtitles, the kind of movie that I hate, and I can't deal with it, okay? I, I can't deal with you. All right. I'm just gonna go rub some toothpaste on my teeth. And then you can walk 20 paces ahead of me all the way to the bus stop. VIP party and poof, you never came back out. Um, I'm I'm not quite sure how to how to describe what happened exactly. Why? Did you meet somebody? You did. Is he famous? Would I know who he is? Famous, no, but um you might know who he is. Sorry to interrupt. The assembly's at four, so we should really start rehearsing that new cheer. You know, the big thank you, Kevin Smith assembly? The one that you've written the new cheer for. You have written it, right? Sure. And um, I've got it all worked out in my head. So let's meet back here at noon, and I will have the most brilliantish cheer typed up and ready for rehearsing. Okay. When you asked for a ride, I thought you had something to tell me. I can't believe you let him keep that stupid motorbike. Oh, it's harmless, in a midlife crisis sort of way. He looks happy. Mom, be honest, you look stupid. That bike was such a mistake. Sometimes you have to let people make mistakes. That's what love's all about. I know you hate me right now, not that I don't deserve it. For having an affair with the principal? I think you deserve just a drop of anger for that. It's not an affair, all right? It stopped the kissing. And I promise it'll never, ever happen again. I have to get to class. Bye, guys. Good morning, Emma. Don't talk to me.
Hey. Can I ask you a, a teensy question? Do you ever think about girls? Uh, interesting question. First thing in the morning. Now, did you miss the years that I dated your brother? But just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't think about girls every now and then, right? Are you trying to hook me up with someone? Oh, wicked. I mean, there's a girl out there who likes me. No, the object of female affections, pretty much me. You. Oh, oh, oh my, I, I knew it. It's Heather Sinclair. Oh, Paige, I've seen the way she looks ew. at you and. Double, ew. No, it's, it's not Heather Sinclair. Alex. Hey. Hi. Hey, pull up a chair. Hey, you, you two still need to tell me about that VIP party last night. I think I'm gonna sit over here today. Oh. Oh. Paige, it's, it's Alex. She kissed me last night. Morning, class. As you know, Kevin Smith will be visiting us today. I want you to take advantage of him being here and prepare some smart media questions for him. Waiting for someone? Oh, look. Here I am in an alley and a rat appears, just like magic. Found these under the table at the club. I thought maybe your new bestest girlfriend might want them back. Just give me the shoes and go away. First, I want you to tell me what it is you think you could possibly have in common with a stuck-up cheerleader. Sorry I took so long. I seem to have interrupted fun time with Jay, which looked kind of hot. Not. In fact, it's been canceled. Replaced by fun time with Paige. Alex, we need to talk. This can't happen. I'm not a, a lesbian. <laughs> and you think I am? Well, you're the one who kissed me. What are you, five? And for the record, you kissed me back. I'm not even supposed to like people like you, people who, who wear black with navy and who hate everything and everyone. I don't hate you. <laughs> even if you are one of the popular idiots who drinks lattes and reads stupid magazines and laughs way too loud. I have to laugh when I'm around you. I can't really help it. And I have to be better when I'm around you. I can't help it either. Need a couple hands for your palms? What do you want? World peace, a salami sub, and a chance to talk to my good friend, Hazy. We're not friends. So you don't want to hear my news, then? That page has gone the gay way? Excuse me? You heard me. Yeah, I saw your friend and my ex doing some seriously sexy dancing last night. So? You need to get out more. Girls do that stuff all the time. And I just saw Paige lay a big old smooch on Alex. You trying to tell me that's something that girls do all the time? I'm not getting involved in this. Listen, do you really think that Paige wants to end her distinguished high school career as the school lesbo? You're being disgusting. I'm being honest. And what about you, huh? 
Are you looking forward to those inevitable rumors about you and Paige? Is that how you want to be remembered? Paige, I need to speak to you. Kind of busy right now. I bet you'll be even busier later with her. Paige, I got you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Alex. What is she doing here? Is she like your girlfriend now? <gasps> Don't worry, I'm fine. Who told you? Jay, Paige, did you become a lesbian and not tell me? No, no, Hazel, I'm not a lesbian. Hello, Matt, Spinner, I've dated lots of guys. Well, then how come Jay saw you kissing Alex? Um, I just got caught up in a moment. And that's all? Of course, it, it was totally stupid. It meant nothing. She means nothing. <sighs> Alex! Don't bother. How could you? I do not like girls. I cannot like girls. Why did you kiss me? I don't know. I, I felt bad. I, I didn't want to hurt you. Who needs your pity, huh? I don't. Well. Oh, um. Excuse me while I go, uh, flush. My head down the toilet. Can I arrange to begin? Can I have everyone's attention, please? Can everyone? Can I have everyone's attention, please? Grab your seats. We're gonna begin now. Thank you. At this time last year, Degrassi was struggling out of an awful tragedy, and then came Kevin Smith. He cast our school as the backdrop for his movie, Jay and Silent Bob Go Canadian, eh? And as a token of our gratitude, Mr. Smith, I would like to present you with an honorary diploma. No. But before we make it completely official, our spirit squad would like to send you on your way in style. Paige? What are we gonna do? I haven't come up with anything. Just improvise. Okay. Uh, go. I'm fine. Don't seem fine to me, little girl. Buenos dias, senoritas. That's not your motorcycle helmet. Where's all the Kevlar? I sold it. The motorbike, the helmet, the works, because uh, we're going to Mexico. You, me, Emma, and Manny will be spending a week on the Mayan Riviera at the end of term. But what about Jack? Oh, the grandma's already fighting for him. It's all been taken care of. Oh, I love you so much. I don't deserve such a perfect husband. Stop it, just stop it. 
Emma? What is it, sweetheart? Tell me what's wrong. It's about me. It's something I did. Why is it that every time I turn a corner, there you are? I'm like one of those annoying pop songs. Once I get stuck in your head, I'm impossible to get rid of. What do you want, Jay? Really? My life sucks. OK, I'm kicked out of school. Sean moved away. Spinner's found the Lord. And the only person who ever really got me won't even give me the time of day. I'm not perfect. I know that. But I get you, you know, the real you. Because you and me were the same. You know, why do you, why do you want to fight that? Son, hate the game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Miss Michael Chuck. Want to shoot some horse with us, or are you running off to a spelling bee or something like that? Uh, about the cheer. Mm -hmm. Please know that I've composed more cheery before. Nobody's ever done a cheer of mine, or so by default, your cheer for me was about the best I've ever had. So thank you. I was kind of distracted. Distracted, huh? Let me guess, by some kind of acid tongue, raven hair beauty from the wrong side of the tracks, maybe. Kevin. Jason, your taxi's here. Thank you, Miss Atsalakis. Let me ask you a question. Do you like this girl? Like, you know, like her, like her. Yeah, I like her, but I'm not gay. My brother is gay. I'm straight. I always have been. Your brother's gay? My brother's gay, too. Even got married to a guy. Really? Yeah, it was the hottest wedding I've ever been to in my life. Really, really cool, hands down. Almost made me want to switch teams. <laughs> Almost. Look, I'm probably the last guy in the world who should be giving you advice on this very subject, but I don't know, you guys seem happy the other night, you know? And that's kind of rare. And whether it's gay, straight, bi, whatever, it's kind of worth investigating a little further, I'd say. Just my two cents. You're just gonna stand there staring at me after I've dropped that wisdom on you? Come on, that's your move? Go chase the girl, silly! So sorry, Emma, but um, I'm gonna go stay at Joey's just for a while. No, no, you can't. Go up there and convince her to let you stay. Emma, listen. What I did was horrible, but I would never have done it if there wasn't something wrong with me. I've gotta go figure that no. out. Do you love my mother? Of course. And Jack? Em, he's my son. What about me? You know I do. So what's to figure out? This is nice, huh? Just like old times. I said you could come in and watch TV, Jay. That's all. This doesn't mean anything. Yeah, sure, Lexi, whatever you say. Chad! Hey! It's been a long time. You've been working hard? <laughs> Hardly working. <laughs> Where are you at, bud? Oh, you know, here and there, just trying to keep myself out of trouble. Uh, give me some sugar, you handsome devil. Hello. <laughs> Look at you. You are looking as beautiful as ever, Emily. Wow, oh, such a charmer. I always knew this one was a keeper, Lexi. Sort of reminds me of old Chad here. <laughs> I am so glad that you finally came to your senses and took Jay back, baby. I haven't taken him back. Well, not yet. No, not ever. I need some air.
I've been trying to work up the nerve to ring the doorbell. We don't have one. Welcome to my world. Any room in it for a stupid girl? I already have one of those. Well, how about room for someone who's ready to stop worrying so much about what other people think? There might be room for her. Alex, I'm sorry about before. What I said. Whatever, Paige, it's cool. No, it's not. I said you were nothing to me, which, which is a total lie, because right now, you're pretty much everything. 